Business Today is brought to you by... We start with a yes. But when life takes unexpected turns, you can still say yes to more. The Scotiabank Aero Platinum MasterCard credit card gives you points with every purchase that you can use to travel to anywhere. Plus, with just 20,000 Scotia points, you can say yes to destinations. With Scotiabank Aero Platinum MasterCard credit card, it's easier to say yes to everything. Apply today. This is Business Today. I'm Marlon Madden. After persistent calls by residents in the north of the island, the Barbados Public Workers Cooperative Credit Union Limited has finally opened a full-service branch in Milan, the Quarter St. Peter. This brings to fore the number of branches for the financial institution, which boasts assets of about $1.2 billion and a staff complement of just over 200. During the opening of the new branch recently, which will have six employees, Group Chief Executive Officer Clorinda Allen said she was confident the location would do well and there is also the possibility of further expansion in the future. And even as I say that, I reflect on the Emerald City branch. Very, very small, very compact, but delivered punch very much above its weight. And today it's um, extended to more commodious and spacious surroundings and we are looking forward to very much the same experience with this St. Peter branch. We are confident that you will serve the parish of St. Peter and its neighboring communities well and with the highest level of service that we could ask for. International reggae artist Bagina Kente wants government to invest more in the cultural industries. While admitting that he did not have the answers to the island's economic woes, the reggae artist says he does not believe taxing the population is the best solution. He tells Business Today he believes the current economic situation called for greater investment in strategic areas that could help produce economic activity. I don't think the way out of it is... I don't, th I don't think we should tax the way out of it, you know? I think they've got other things, um, other avenues that uh, people have presented. Um, as a musician, there is music that, that, that we can invest in. There is um, music tourism as well as sports tourism. There is the arts especially that we could invest in, that we could put a lot of effort in, that also generate a lot of income for the economy as well. Meet Sean Hopkinson, operator of Rice Jewelry out of Guyana. Hopkinson took part in the recently held Grand Market of the 13th edition of the Carfesta in Barbados, the region's premier cultural festival. This was his fourth Carfesta. What we're looking at is more partnership between the Caribbean. So it's like, I know you, you know me, and you know we just network you know what i mean and what i'm looking at is more the networking and so on so i'm hoping to achieve a lot of network partners and so on from the curry festa hopkinson sells a range of jewelry and craft items including some one-of-a-kind bags and face masks one of the hot selling items is the unique personalized rice necklace which consists of a grain of rice and grain, whatever name yeah, the customer chooses Hopkinson said that item was being sold in about eight countries currently and it's a favorite among some Barbadians who travel to Guyana. With a focus on the cultural industries this month, we continue with news that Minister of Culture Stephen Lashley is calling on artists to pay more attention to ensuring they are paid for their intellectual property. Addressing the conduits to commerce workshop on music synchronization licensing recently, Lashley said while the protection of intellectual property is key, Greater efforts should be made to ensure that tangible benefits are realized. It really makes no sense just protecting vast amounts of intellectual property and we are not having any money flowing from it. And you know all of all of us, because I did say I'm an artist, all of us in this room want to make money from your work. And if there's nobody in this room who don't want to make any money from your work, let me see the hand in the air now. <laughs> there's none. But the sink market. <clears throat> me. The sink market provides one such opportunity where artists can develop residual income on works already released with develop, while developing new works for current consumption and performance. Now for today's financial tip. One of the most effective ways of lowering your electricity bill is by practicing energy efficiency. Turn off unused lights in your house and unplug electrical appliances that are not in use to lower your electricity bill. That's been Business Today. Join us again on Thursday. 
Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Madden.